Hi, this video presents an overview of the requirements for computerized adaptive testing. That is, what characteristics must your testing program have to consider moving to a computerized adaptive testing delivery methodology? There are many benefits to computerized adaptive testing, also known as CAT, and these benefits lead it to being recognized as the next generation of tests. Some of the things that CAT does is that it intelligently and dynamically delivers a test to students. And by doing this, it can decrease test length by 50% or more, which can lead to some very large time and cost savings across large numbers of students. CAT also can increase the precision of tests, uh, and it enables equiprecise tests, that is, tests that provide the same level of precision for all examinees. It enhances test security. It provides a possibility for more frequent retesting, for example, in formative assessments in schools and also provides possibility of an increased examining motivation. However, CAT is not a good fit for all organizations. That is, many organizations hear about these benefits of CAT and wish to apply CAT for their tests. However, CAT is not relevant or possible in many testing situations. So how can you evaluate if CAT is applicable for your organization or for a certain testing program? Can begin by considering the following requirements. Requirement number one, items must be scorable in real time. CAT scores items immediately so that the next item can be determined instantaneously. The purpose of CAT is to dynamically select the next item that is most appropriate for each examinee, so it needs to be able to select that item instantaneously. Because of this, paper testing is obviously irrelevant. And as a corollary, Essays and other constructive response items are not possible unless you package an automated scoring system. Uh, for example, you could package your test with an essay scoring algorithm that is based on number of words and certain keyword counts. In general, acceptable item types include multiple choice, multiple response, Likert type rating scale, and scorable short answer. Requirement number two is that you have large item banks. A general rule of thumb in the industry is that you need three times as many items in the bank as intended for the test. So if you think your final cat might have 100 items, you need to write 300 items for your bank. And this, of course, then means you need the resources to write, review, and pilot all of these items. And that alone could be uh, quite expensive, putting cat out of the reach for your testing program. Cat also requires large pilot samples. That is, CAT uses item response theory, also known as IRT, as the underlying psychometric model. And to analyze data with IRT, you need to have all items have at least 100 examinee responses just for a basic cursory analysis. Preferably, you should have at least 1,000 examinees answer each question. So if you have 300 items in your bank, and each examinee sees 100 items during the pilot phase, well, then you're going to need three times the number of the minimum examinees, that means you need 3,000 examinees just to complete a pilot study for a CAT. Requirement number four, you need PhD psychometricians. Psychometricians are necessary to perform those complex IRT analyses just mentioned with software like Excalibur 4. They're also necessary to perform CAT simulation validity studies. The test is not going to be defensible if you did not provide validity studies regarding the CAT specifications. Requirement number five is sophisticated analysis software. You need to have software designed specifically for IRT analysis to perform those calibrations on the pilot data. An example of this is Excalibur 4. You also need separate software for the CAT simulation studies for validity evaluation and documentation. An example program that provides the CAT simulation studies is CATSU. Typically, general statistical software is not acceptable and not perform the necessary analyses. Requirement number six is an IRT item banker. That is, items must be packaged with their respective IRT parameters that are calibrated in the previous step. Your item banking system must then store these effectively and utilize them appropriately when assembling item banks and forms. Requirement number seven, you must have a CAT delivery system, obviously. Uh, so that is, you must have a computerized test delivery platform that's capable of performing all of the complex CAT calculations. 
typically crude homegrown approximations are not defensible. That is, developing your own simple algorithm to try to move items up or down in terms of subjective difficulty is not going to be a defensible or appropriate cat delivery platform. The cat delivery system must also be reliable and secure and able to handle a large volume of examinees you'll typically have performing all these complex calculations. Requirement number seven is money and resources. Developing a defensible cat is extremely expensive. For a small research project, it might cost ten or twenty thousand dollars. However, when you're talking about a large operational cat, that is a real cat being performed on real students, let's say across the country, costs could easily run into hundreds of thousands of dollars. However, the benefits stated earlier can outweigh these costs, especially with large volume tests. That is, by reducing the test length by 50%, uh, you're reducing the cost of delivery in a test. And if you assign a value to that reduction, uh, it can easily offset the cost of de developing a cat. And therefore, a cat can then possibly be a positive investment. So in summary, cat has many benefits. However, it is not relevant for the majority of testing situations. Uh, so it is important to consider some of the basic requirements discussed in this presentation uh, before making the decision to look any deeper into evaluating CAT for your testing program. If you're interested in learning more, there's an online CAT system available at www.fasttestweb.com, and there are additional resources on IRT and CAT at www.assess.com. Thank you, and please watch some of our other videos on advanced psychometrics.